coming over to help the Game and Fish with the Wyoming Mule Deer Initiative. We're doing a mule deer capture today um, with biologist Gary Freilich and uh, Dr. Monteith from the University of Wyoming. So we got invited to come out here. It's been, it's going to be a great day. Mule deer captures and kind of help with the mule deer research. In 2007, the Wyoming Game and Fish Commission adopted the Wyoming Mule Deer Initiative. The intent of this initiative was to develop individual management plans for key populations. Of particular concern was the Wyoming Range Mule Deer population in western Wyoming. The Wyoming Range Mule Deer population has undergone dynamic changes in recent decades from a population high of greater than 50,000 units in the late 1980s to a sustained population of 30,000 during much of the last decade. The Wyoming Mule Deer Project was initiated in 2013 to address the need for research in identifying the factors that regulate the Wyoming Range Mule Deer population. The overarching goal of the Wyoming Range Mule Deer Project is to investigate the nutritional relationships among habitat conditions, climate, and behavior. This allows researchers to better understand how all of these factors interact to regulate the population. In March 2013, the capture of 70 adult female mule deer on two discrete winter ranges was completed. In the summer of 2015, phase two of this project was also initiated. This phase focused on survival and cost specific mortality of neonate mule deer. Since the initiation of the project, researchers have tracked and monitored the survival, behaviors, reproduction, and habitat conditions of 202 adult female and 195 juvenile mule deer of the Wyoming Range. It also should be noted that in December 2018, the first male mule deer were captured and will be incorporated within the future findings of this project. On our way, just met up with everybody. We're headed up. Once the animals arrive at the research site, each animal is weighed and then transported to various mats for further measurements and samples. After the animal is secured on the mat, body temperatures are immediately taken to ensure that the deer has not overheated during capture and delivery. If the deer has met the thresholds for increased body heat, interventions are instantaneously taken to ensure the animal's safety. Body temperatures are then continually monitored throughout the duration of the capture to ensure little undue stress on the animal. Next, various physical measurements and samples are taken and collected, including length, girth, metatarsis, blood, hair, and stool. Finally, the fat content is taken via ultrasonography and radio collars are inspected and replaced if necessary. Once all these steps are triple checked for reliability and proficiency, each animal is released as humanely as possible. This research has shed considerable light on herd health and various factors that are affecting the population in general. 
It is anticipated that only through research like the Wyoming Range Mule Deer Project will managers be better able to make informed decisions. This research has already assisted in making this natural resource sustainable for generations to come.